Today, everything is mercifully normal. So, find your paper clip and put it on page 40. And the, the booklet will tell you every time you need to go to the changeables. The only changes I will make is that the booklet in, presumes a number of repetitions we will never repeat, which means that when we get to the, the praises, uh, we will sing two extra verses in plain chant before we start singing in melody. So please follow my lead. Please do not anticipate me. Every now and again, the silence is because I need to breathe or because I need to find the next tone. We begin at the beginning on page one. <clears throat> Glory to the holy consubstantial life creating an undivided trinity always now and ever and forever amen glory to god in the highest and to people on earth peace and goodwill glory to god in the highest and to people on earth peace and goodwill glory to god in the highest and to people on earth peace and goodwill o lord you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. How many are my foes, O oh Lord? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying about me, there is no help for him in God? But you, O oh Lord, are a shield about me, my glory, who lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord. He answers from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest, and I sleep. I wake, for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God, you who strike all my foes on the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake, for the Lord upholds me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For peace, on high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our holy father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyter at the diaconate in Christ and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, and for the faithful of Ukraine, that the Lord our God may quickly confound every diabolical plot conceived against them and turn back their enemies in shame and confusion, let us pray to the Lord that we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is you all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My spirit yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let them be shamed when they see your zeal for your people. Let the fire prepared for your enemies consume them. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have increased the nation, O Lord. Increase the nation to your own glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the bridegroom is coming in the middle of the night. Blessed is the servant, he shall find awake. But the one he shall find neglectful will not be worthy of him. Beware, therefore, O oh my soul, do not fall into a deep slumber, lest you be delivered to death, and the door of the kingdom be closed to you. Watch instead and cry out, 
Holy, holy, holy are you, O God, through the intercession of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, the Bridegroom is coming in the middle of the night. Blessed is the servant, he shall find awake. But the one he shall find neglectful will not be worthy of him. Beware, therefore, O my soul, do not fall into a deep slumber, lest you be delivered to death, and the door of the kingdom be closed to you. Watch instead and cry out, Holy, holy, holy are you, O God, through the intercession of the Theotokos, have mercy on us, now and ever and forever. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom is coming in the middle of the night. Blessed is the servant, he shall find awake. But the one he shall find neglectful will not be worthy of him. Beware, therefore, O my soul, do not fall into a deep slumber, lest you be delivered to death, and the door of the kingdom be closed to you. Watch instead and cry out, Holy, holy, Holy are you, O God, through the intercession of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. On page 40. O faithful, let us be on fire with love for the bridegroom, and with lamps burning let us go out to meet him. May the light of our virtue shine brightly, and may our faith be radiant. With the wise virgins, let us prepare to enter the banquet hall of the Lord, for the divine spouse offers us all the crown of immortality. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The priest, the scribes, and the council of the impious have gathered against you, O God, our Savior. Through jealousy they persuaded Judas to betray you. He was not ashamed to go out and speak against you, saying to the lawless ones, 
What will you give me if I hand him over to you? O Lord, spare our souls from such a condemnation. Impelled by his burning love of money, the impious Judas ponders and plots the betrayal of his master. He falls from light into darkness. He sells the one who is beyond all price, and for the price of his betrayal, the miserable one meets death through hanging. Spare us this same destiny, O Christ our God, and grant forgiveness of sins to those who with love praise your holy passion. That we be deemed worthy of hearing the Holy Gospel in peace, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Peace be to all, and to your spirit, to your spirit. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time the Pharisees went off and began to plot how they might trap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him, accompanied by Herodian sympathizers, who said, Teacher, we know you are a truthful man and teach God's way sincerely. You court no one's favor and do not act out of human respect. Give us your opinion, then. In this case, is it lawful to pay tax to the emperor or not? Jesus recognized their bad faith and said to them, Why are you trying to trip me up, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. When they handed him a small Roman coin, he asked them, Whose head is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that Jesus said to them, Then render to Caesar what is Caesar's, but to God what is God's. Taken aback by this reply, they went off and left him. That same day, some Sadducees, who hold that there is no resurrection, came to Jesus with a question. Teacher, Moses declared, if a man dies without children, his brother must take the wife and produce offspring for his brother. Consider this case. Once there were seven brothers. The eldest died after marrying, and since he had no children, he left his wife to his brother. The same thing happened to the second, the third, and so on down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, whose wife will she be, since all seven of them married her? Jesus replied, You are badly misled because you fail to understand the Scriptures and the power of God. When people rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but live like angels in heaven. As to the fact that the dead are raised, have you not read what God said to you? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of the living, not of the dead. The crowds who listened were spellbind by Jesus' teaching. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they assembled in a body, and one of them, a lawyer, in an attempt to trip Jesus up, asked him, Teacher, which commandment of the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments the whole law is based, and the prophets as well. In turn, Jesus put a question to the assembled Pharisees. What is your opinion about the Messiah? Whose son is he? They answered, David's. So Jesus said to them, Then how is it that David, under the Spirit's influence, calls him Lord, as he does when he says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. If David calls him Lord, how can the Messiah be David's son? 
No one could give him an answer, therefore no one dared from that day on to ask him any more questions. Then Jesus told the crowds and his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees have succeeded Moses as teachers, therefore do everything and observe everything they tell you, but do not follow their example. Their words are bold, but their deeds are few. They bind up heavy loads, hard to carry, to lay on other men's shoulders, while they themselves will not lift a finger to budge them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and wear huge tassels. They are fond of places of honor at banquets and the front seats in synagogues, of marks of respect in public and of being called rabbi. As for you, avoid the title rabbi. One among you is your teacher. The rest are disciples. Do not call anyone on earth your father. Only one is your father, the one in heaven. Avoid being called teachers. Only one is your teacher, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be the one who serves the rest. Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, but whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Then Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You shut the doors of the kingdom of God in men's faces, neither entering yourself nor admitting those who are trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you frauds! You travel over land and sea to make a single convert, but once he is converted, you make a devil of him twice as wicked as yourself. It is an evil day for you, blind guides. You declare if a man swears by the temple, it means nothing, but if he swears by the gold of the temple, he is obliged. Blind fools, which is more important, the gold or the temple which makes it sacred? Again, you declare if a man swears by the altar, it means nothing, but if he swears by the gift on the altar, he is obliged. How blind you are, which is more important, the offering on the altar which makes the offering sacred. The man who swears by the altar is swearing by it and by everything on it. The man who swears by the temple is swearing by it and by him who dwells there. The man who swears by heaven is swearing by God's throne and by him who is seated on that throne. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes on mint and herbs and seeds while neglecting the weightier matters of the law justice and mercy and good faith. It is these you should have practiced without neglecting the others. Blind guides, you strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you frauds. You cleanse the outside of the cup and dish and leave the inside filled with loot and lust. Blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup so that its outside may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you frauds. You are like whitewashed tombs, beautiful to look out on the outside, but inside full of filth and dead men's bones. Thus you present to view a holy exterior, while hypocrisy and evil fill you within. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you frauds! You erect tombs for the prophets and decorate the monuments of the saints. You say, had we lived in our forefathers' time, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you show that you are the sons of the prophets' murderers. Now it is your turn. Fill up the vessel measured out by your forefathers. Viper's nest, brood of serpents, how can you escape condemnation to Gehenna? For this region I shall send you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some you will kill and crucify, others you will flog in your synagogues and hunt down from city to city until retribution overtakes you for all the blood of the just one shed on earth, from the blood of the holy Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the temple building and the altar. All this, I assure you, will be the fate of the present generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, murderess of the prophets and stoner of those who were sent to you, how often have I yearned to gather your children as a mother bird gathers her young under her wings, but you refused me. Recall the saying, you will find your temple deserted. I tell you, you will not see me again from this time on until you declare, blessed is he who comes In the name of the Lord, glory to you, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. 
My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without a reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may thrill. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help with a spirit of fervor. Sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Watch over your world in mercy and compassion. Exalt the strength of true Christians and send down upon us your abundant mercies. Through the prayers of our all-pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable, heavenly, and angelic powers of the holy Archangel Michael, whose church this is, of the holy Archangel Gabriel, whose memory we keep today, through the prayers of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our holy fathers, the great hierarchs and universal teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our holy father, Nicholas, wonder worker, Archbishop of Myra and Lycia, of the holy equals to the apostles and teachers of the Slavs, Cyril and Methodius, of the holy equal to the apostles, the faithful great Prince Volodymyr, of the holy martyr Joseph, at Bishop of Polotsk, of the blessed martyr Theodore, Bishop of Mokachevo, of our blessed fathers and confessors, Paul, Bishop of Presho, and Basil, Bishop of Midilla, of the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, Anthony and Theodosius, of the monastery of the caves, and of all of our other venerable and God-bearing fathers of the holy and just ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. We beseech you, O merciful Lord, hear the prayers we sinners offer, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord our God, you have given us forgiveness through repentance, and as a model of knowledge and confession of sins, you have revealed to us the repentance of the prophet David that led to pardon. Master, have mercy on us who have fallen into so many and so great sins. Have mercy in your kindness and in your compassion blot out our offenses. For against you have we sinned, Lord, who know the hidden depths of our heart and who alone have the power to forgive sins. A pure heart you have created for us. You have sustained us with a spirit of fervor and have given us the joy of your help. Do not cast us away from your presence, but in your goodness and love for mankind, grant that we may offer a sacrifice of righteousness and oblation on your holy altar until our last breath. Through the mercies and goodness and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. On page 42... O wretched soul, think of your last hours. Be dismayed at the rebuking of the fig tree. Act and double the talent given you with a loving purpose. Be watchful and cry out, Grant that we may not be left outside the bridal chamber of Christ. O 
O oh, my poor soul, why are you listless with vain cares? Why do you think about those things which only pass away? Behold, the final hour is here, and we must separate ourselves from the things of this life. Wake up while there is still time, and cry to the Lord, I have sinned against you. Do not uproot me with the sterile fig tree. In your mercy spare me, O Lord, and behold my fear. Grant that we not be left outside the bridal chamber of Christ. For having scorned the order of the tyrant, the three noble youths were thrown into the furnace, but they sang and gave glory to God. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Let us cast slothfulness far away from us. Let us carry our bright lamps and go to meet Christ, the immortal spouse whom we praise. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Let us bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord. May our souls be abundantly filled with the oil of charity so that we do not have to go and buy it. Instead of welcoming the bridegroom and singing, Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord, now and ever and forever. Amen. Since God has given you equal grace and strength, multiply your talent with the help of Christ, to whom we sing, Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and highly exalting him forever. For having scorned the order of the tyrant, the three noble youths were thrown into the furnace, but they sang and gave glory to God. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Let us greatly extol the Theotokos, the mother of light in hymns, your womb was able to contain the infinite God, and you gave birth to the joy of the universe. We praise you, O Virgin Theotokos. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. You said to your disciples, O God most good, be vigilant, for you do not know the time of the coming of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. At your awesome and second coming, O Master, place me at your right side with your sheep, and do not consider the multitude of my sins. Your womb was able to contain the infinite God, and you gave birth to the joy of the universe. We praise you, O Virgin Theotokos. <clears throat> Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O God, our God, who have placed all spiritual and intellectual powers under your will, we pray and beg you accept these hymns of praise which we offer to you according to our ability, together with all your creatures. Give us in exchange the riches of your goodness, for before you all beings in the heavens or on earth or under the earth bend their knees, and everything that lives or that breathes give praise to your glory beyond reach, for you are the one true God, full of mercy. For all the heavenly powers praise you, and we give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. <clears throat> I see your bridal chamber 
completely engulfed with light. O my Savior, and I do not have a wedding garment to enter and enjoy your brightness. Fill the garment of my soul with light and save me, O Lord. I see your bridal chamber completely engulfed with light. O my Savior, and I do not have a wedding garment to enter and enjoy your brightness. Fill the garment of my soul with light and save me, O Lord. I see your bridal chamber completely engulfed with light. O my Savior, and I do not have a wedding garment to enter and enjoy your brightness. Fill the garment of my soul with light and save me, O Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise him all his angels, praise him all his hosts, praise him sun and moon, praise him shining stars, praise him highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, he commanded they were made. He fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey his word, all mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing, all earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker, let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. How shall I enter the splendor of your saints? Because of my unworthiness, 
If I dare to enter your bridal chamber, my garment shall give me away, for I do not have a wedding garment, and the angels shall cast me out. Purify my soul, O Lord, and in your goodness save me. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. My slothful soul has fallen into sleep, O oh, Christ my spouse, and I do not have a lamp shining with the fire of virtues. I have become like the foolish virgins, for instead of laboring I have wasted my time. Do not close off your love and your heart to me, O Master, but dispel my dark slumber. Awaken me that with the wise virgins I may enter your palace. There the choir of the just shall resound as they sing to you, O Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. You have heard of the condemnation of the one who hid the talent. O my soul, do not hide the word of God. Proclaim his wonders and increase his gifts that you may enter into the joy of your Lord. For to you all glory is due, O Lord our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you who have shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest, and to peace on earth, peace, goodwill among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we thank you for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, Father Almighty, Lord only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you, Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Make us worthy, O Lord, to be kept sinless this morning. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praiseworthy and glorious is your name forever. Amen. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, because we have placed our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. O Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the work of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due a hymn, to you is glory due. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. 
that this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, a peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We sing to you, we praise you, we bless you, and we thank you, God of our fathers, for you have banished the dark of night and shown us once again the light of day. We beseech you, forgive our sins and accept our prayer in your great tenderness of heart, because we take refuge in you, the merciful and all-powerful God. Shine in our hearts your true Son of justice, enlighten our minds and guard all our senses, so that walking blamelessly in the path of your commandments as in daylight, we may reach eternal life, for in you is the source of life. Make us worthy to enjoy the unapproachable light. For you are our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. Holy Lord, you dwell on high and look upon the lowly, and with your all-seeing eye you watch over all creation. To you we bend our neck in spirit and body, and we implore you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned voluntarily or involuntarily, forgive us as a good God who loves mankind and gives us earthly and heavenly gifts. For yours are mercy and salvation, O Christ our God, and we give glory to you with your eternal Father and your life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Page 48. Come, O faithful, let us zealously labor for the Lord, for he entrusts his riches to his servants. Let each multiply the talent of grace, let one gain wisdom by doing good, let another serve with splendor, let the faithful share their faith with the unenlightened, let others share their goods with the poor, thus we shall multiply the treasure that has been entrusted to us, and we shall be the faithful stewards of grace, and we shall be worthy of the joy of the Lord. Grant this to us, O Christ our God, in your goodness toward all of us. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. When you shall come in glory with the powers of heaven to be seated on the throne of judgment, O Jesus, do not cast me far away from you, O good shepherd. On your right are the paths that lead to you, and on your left are those who turn away from you. Do not make me perish with the goats, even though I have been disfigured by sin. 
but place me on your right with your sheep in your love for us all. Save me. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. O bridegroom whose grace surpasses all human beauty, you invite us to the spiritual feast in your palace. Strip me of the coarse garment of my sin and make me a partaker of your passion. Clothe me in the glorious adornment of your beauty. In your mercy accept me as a luminous guest at the banquet in your kingdom. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Behold, the Lord entrusts to you his talent. Accept this gift with fear, O my soul. Multiply it for the one who granted it to you. Share it with the poor, and you shall have the Lord as your friend. Then you shall be at his right when he comes in his glory, and you shall hear his blessed voice say to you, You are indeed my servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord, even though I have gone astray. O Lord, make me worthy of this joy. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your, watch, your truth in the watches of the night. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. As we stand in the temple of your glory, we consider ourselves standing in heaven. O Theotokos, heavenly gate, open to us the doors of your mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Blessed be Christ our God, the one who is always, now and ever and forever. King of heaven, support our civil authorities, confirm the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world and safeguard this city. Grant those who have gone before us a dwelling place among the righteous. Accept us in repentance and confession, for you are good and you love mankind. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word, you truly the Theotokos we magnify. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Lord and Master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, bestow on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Lord and Master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, bestow on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Read to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Christ, our true God, who went voluntarily to his passion for our salvation, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the prayers of the holy archangel Michael, whose church this is, of the holy prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of our holy fathers, and of all the saints, for Christ our God is gracious, and he loves mankind. Having suffered the passion for us, Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. Having suffered the passion for us, 
Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. Preter pivus anastrasti, Iisus Christe, Sone Boge, pomilui, pomilui, pomilui nos. I'm available for confessions immediately following this service, but we need to do that right away because I need to be in Carteret by 11.